Hey everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Top 4, where we argue about something that doesn't really matter all that much, but we argue about it in numeral order of four. Uh, four. 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 Not one, my lord, not two. Five's too much indeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be crazy. We, who's got time be, for that? Nobody's got time for that. Top four, and this week we're talking about robots in uh, the comic book multiverse. Or do we just say Marvel? I can't remember. Well, no, uh, I think we just said it's just all, uh, comic all, all comic, comic book time, yeah. <clears throat> Good, because I hardly ever separate them sometimes. I mean, it could be all of media. I don't care. Robot heroes. Take, take, take them from Robot wherever. heroes. That's right. If you yeah. want to throw in. <laughs> Most robot heroes do make it their way into comic books at some point. Uh, there's been plenty of good RoboCop comic books. Well, I'm going to amend robot. that. I'm going to amend that. There have been RoboCop comic books. They haven't been that good. Actually, yeah. some of the RoboCop comic books aren't bad. Yeah, but well, he's bad, not a robot. Okay. It's true. He's a cyborg. That's right. It doesn't count. It doesn't count at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he... Counts, counts just not for, counts, the, just not for the purposes of category. this category. Well, I, I've seen them count unless, unless you're considering that those robot machines that they were trying to replace the human police department with, unless you're oh, considering yeah. those heroes. The T-900s? Just saying. Yeah, you, yeah. you will comply. You Wait, will comply. T-900 I'm close. Ter- Terminator? It's Terminator. Yeah, but I, think you've, I think you've jumped. I, I think mean, you've changed. It's but still a robot. Have? But I think that, yeah. All Dark right. Horse comics. I stick. I stand by Tom in this one. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> might be called Ted too. But I digress, and we're not doing that on this podcast. What we're going to do instead is talk about robots and the the cool ones out there. Tommy, you want to go first? Okay, I actually had two in mind, so therefore I was prepared for somebody else to steal mine. Good, good, because but, Mikey has four in the bag. That's why I'm going to go on here right. last. I'm going to go with Machine Man. It's a great guy. All right, Drink, that's a great okay. one. It wasn't my top, but I, I really like him. On my top? A little purple action going on, yeah. yeah. I love Machine Man. I think he's great. I mean, he he was fantastic in the Marvel Zombies series. Uh, he's been great in, in every single comic book that I've I've ever read with him in it most of them i've enjoyed immensely and he is mostly on the side of good mostly 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 and he makes a great chopper i'm sorry does he are you talking like michael i'm just saying he has transformed himself into a motorcycle oh oh i thought you said chopper i thought you meant a whirly bird yeah. Which made me think of Michael Winslow, and then I was impressed that I remembered Michael Winslow's name. <laughs> I thought he just had an axe and hacked wood. Yeah. I mean, Is I think there... he's probably done that at some point, too, but... He's definitely been a lumberjack. He's well, okay. that's okay. Yeah. He's a very versatile machine, man. Uh, so, he did have his own... Uh, I remember a 1-4 through four series. Did you like that one particularly, or is it... You yeah, I mean, the original... Zombies. The original uh, Jack Kirby run Machine Man was great. Then Marvel did another series later on that was fantastic. And then also, like I said, he's had big cameos in all sorts of different Marvel comics. And he was great in Marvel Zombies as well. He's a good protagonist in that one because uh, he can't get eaten. He can't get eaten. He was, uh, he was you know, trying to, to find uh, Jocasta... Uh, because, you know, he fell in love with her and uh, he kept going from universe to universe trying to find her. It was great. Yeah, why, what would they care if there's a zombie outbreak? Because he's, like, eh. he's mostly a good guy. Yeah. All right, he's zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> All right, uh, Josh, are you ready? You want to go next? Yeah, I this this robot for me spans film and comics. Ooh. He's uh the unsung hero of many of many adventures. I'm going with R2D2. I knew it. I, I was going to get it. R2D2. Yeah. Just the uh the stoic robot of yeah, the mo- just does, of, yeah. does what needs to be done. Talks back when he needs to talk back, right? He always knows pushes back on the, the heroes. Knows when to shut the fuck up. He knew out. where Luke was the entire time. Has oh. held his own in a dogfight against Darth Vader. Bingo. But such a potty mouth. 
Yeah, I yeah. mean, no. <laughs> language, R2. Language. Took on a, a squadron of stormtroopers. But other than that, I mean, R2 is doing it all, right? Yeah. When he's fully functional, he's flying. He's decoding doors. He's repairing starships. He's He does it all. He's a little slow. I mean, I mean, not, not, but I mean, he it, rolls. I mean, slow. he can be He's like 100 years stairs. old. I mean, who wouldn't be slow after that? Yeah. He, yeah. And in his older, you know, in some of his iterations, he can def- be defeated by stairs. But, you know, everyone's got their weakness. It's yeah. not water. It's not being thrown into the sun. It might be that. You might have to. Oh, that's it might be that. You yeah, might have might to. Be <laughs> but he's stairs. literally been underwater. And then yeah. spit out by, you know, in the swamp. Swamp out, he's monster, fine. yes. So, waterproof, vacuum proof, out. <laughs> doing all the good things. Motherfucker! No yeah. Banging it out. All right, Tom, who do you got? Because I think I know who you're going to go with. All right, I, I want to know who you think I'm going to say. What? You want him to spoil it? Yeah. Andy, the awesome android. No, he is my third choice. Oh, that's a great guess. You have blindsided me, sir. So just so you know, before we started, Mike said, I think I know what you're going to do. And I'm like, I don't think you do. I talk about this robot all the time because he is my favorite. But he's such a minor character that you guys probably aren't even having him in your head. And that is the recorder. True. The recorder. I don't uh, see him as re- as heroic, though. Yeah, but you're, then you're fucking mentally damaged, my friend. Did you take a blow to the head? Uh, several, but... All right, fine. If you read the... One of my favorite Thor comics is when the Warriors 3 and Thor go out and find the Allfather out in the space. The recorder, a Rigelian, doesn't have to, but he wants to go along and record the thing because he thinks it's going to be that epic. And there isn't one scrap, and the recorder isn't the watcher. No, he's there to record, but he's still a Rigelian. I'm like, I, what do you mean? Rec- I can do what the fuck I want. If I want to get in the scrap, I'm in the scrap. I'm in the story. And he's in there fighting and fussing and fucking people up as much as trained warriors. Uh, there's been plenty of battles where the recorder has turned the tide of battle for the Warriors 3. He is much one of the warriors as anybody else on that team. They're just not good with numbers. <laughs> It's like when I Michael have, Jackson died and they were still the Jackson 5. They're just not good with numbers. I have never read this comic. I've and this comic. I, for the life of me, I thought every time you talked about the recorder, you were discussing a musical instrument. Yeah, I thought it was, you know, one of those little pipes. <laughs> That's right. They brought a little pipe with them. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. You got to uh, learn on some instrument. Let me say this about the recorder and Machine Man. They actually look very similar. There have been comic books where I've been like two pages in thinking, hey, I had no idea the recorder was, oh, wait, fuck. That's <laughs> Machine Man. Because they are built, for, they, they do have the telescoping arms. Uh, he can put his fingers into his chest to access extra computer knowledge and technology. There are, and they look a lot alike. They're, they both have a purple uh, kind of, uh, purplish kind of uh, color yeah, scheme. The recorder. Andy the robot was my second, and you know who my first one is, I think, Mike, because we talked about it. My second, yeah. So, Mike, that brings us to you, buddy. Who's your number one? Who is your favorite robot? And, then, and how many of us hit minutes. yours? You guys hit none of mine. All right, well, we're going to have to hear what the other three are, but go All ahead right. with your top. Mike, can I tell you what I hope yours is? Sure. The Metal Men. It is not the metal man. Oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, so my number one is Atomic Robo. Yeah. Oh, Atomic Robo. Yeah. We did a whole I'm podcast. Uh, we did a whole podcast. Robo. Yeah, yeah. If you if you are watching this on YouTube and you want to hear our Atomic Robo podcast where we wax, I would say eloquently, yeah. but I've listened to us, so I know that's I not true. I mean, but you we, could go over to our podcast on Atomic Robo. And we did a whole podcast on Machine Man too. We did. I remember that vividly. I mean, I named my vacuum after Atomic Robo, so. (laughs) We don't wax poetically. We wax drunkenly. Yeah. And my other uh, three that, you know, so the honorable mentions was going to be Andy the Awesome Android. Android. 
uh, Red Tornado, and the robot from Lost in Space. Wow. Oh, All right. So one. Yeah. no one had my number two, which was GI Robot. Yeah. Okay. I really like GI Robot. Those were GI fun, Robot fun is great. Tales. Yeah. I had Iron Giant Robot. and Mega Man. Oh. oh yeah. Nobody had Optimus Prime. Yeah. I don't consider them robots. They have souls. No, oh, are you cuts? trying to say that Machine Man doesn't have a soul? Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to say your Roomba doesn't have a soul? Yeah. Huh, okay. Just making sure that you love that Roomba. I do. I love him, but he doesn't have a soul. He doesn't have a soul. All right. There are a lot of good robots out there. Like we said, GI Robot appeared in a lot of the weird war ones. That was a terrific one. Uh, Josh, you said. Um, Iron Giant. Iron Giant, another great one. What was the other one? Mega Man. Known? Yeah, Mega Man. A little surprised Tommy didn't bring up Mega Man in his uh, honorable mentions because you do like Mega Man. Yeah. But the Metal Men are great, though. Metal Man? Yeah, yeah, nobody mentioned the Metal Men. But they are cool robots. They do a lot of uh, very decent, cool things. But it's not one that really sticks out in my brain. You know, I read them when I was a kid. They didn't do too much in the modern verse. Mike, have they... They had a lot oh, yeah. of crossovers. Oh, yeah. They, they keep on just reappearing. Will Magnus is one of the mad scientists of the DC universe. So they like to bring in the metal men a lot. So I've Mike, seen them every once in a while, but you guys read more DC than me. So, Mike, fun anecdote about the uh, robot from Lost in Space. So, <laughs> uh, my stepson, Christopher, his little league coach was the middle. Don West. Not, yep, from Lost in Space. And uh, so the person who played the robot was the person who was not in the scene. They didn't have one person play the robot. They just jammed whatever actor wasn't in the scene into the robot. And that person was the robot for the scenes. And he was like, you cannot believe how hot that <laughs> robot was. Because a lot of the scenes they did were like alien scapes. So they were out and like, the California desert. They were like in Death Valley. And he was like in an insulated metal robot waving his arms. He's like, it was like 130 degrees in there. He's like, honestly, I think over the course of the series, like eight people passed out that goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the robot's not moving. Someone poke it. <laughs> Somebody get that guy a glass of water. Danger, Will Robinson. I'm frying in here. <laughs> it's called Danger, heat Will, stroke, Robinson. Will Robinson. Low fluid level. Heat stroke. Danger of heat stroke, Will Robinson. Danger. But nice guy. And uh, I honestly, I didn't recognize him. He outed himself to me one day. Cool. I guess you'd have to at this age, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't recognize him. We were talking about something, and he was like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 L.A. And I was like, oh, did you live out there? And then the story unfolded, and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. You're I see it now. I see it. My I see eyes. It. I see the eyes. I'm surprised he's a... not at cons. Uh, I think he passed away. Uh, That's probably why I haven't seen him. Probably why he isn't at cons. He was, I mean, he was not in great shape at that time when Christopher was in Little League, and that was 20 years ago. Yeah. I can assure you that the reason Gilbert Gottfried isn't at cons uh, is because he died. Yeah, but you just got an autograph from him, so I don't know. I you... did. I did just get an autograph. At the autograph. last con, he walks over to us. Ah, oh, I just got a Gilbert Godfrey autograph. And we're like, how is that possible? How is that possible? <laughs> well, there was a seance. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. <laughs> the Ouija board moved the pen. Just so you know, the guy from the Great American Roadshow was there, and he's always been super nice to me. He uh, appraised my guitar that's signed by Stan Lee and Christopher Claremont. He appraised, and I'm going to be talking about this on our next podcast, my cool ukulele that uh, Kate Micucci signed for me and named. Uh, and I've never bought anything from him. He's never asked me for a dime, even though we talk all the time. And he's never, like, hard-pitched me anything. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to grab something. So I look through his thing. There's a Gilbert Godfrey. I'm like, ah, I'll take a Gilbert Godfrey. Nice. Okay. More to be a, a good customer <laughs> than anything else. It's fair. All right, so that's it on robots. Top yeah. four. Top four. Everyone feel purged? Yeah. You got all your yeah. robots out? 
we missed yeah. one of one of your top four Funny. robots. Go ahead and put it down in the comments. Oh, that's right. Yeah. This is YouTube. You get and, to uh, watch it. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. The like and no, subscribe no. button is up is up here or it's down here. Down there. It's over here. Yeah, it's down there. It's down there. Right or it's up there. here. Down there. Just, right down there just, is this uh, that thing, and that thing, and thing is our other video and the, right there. Okay. And it's yeah. someone over here. I, I learned how to do end cards this Ooh. weekend. So <laughs> oh. yeah. Fancy. We'll get fancy. Fancy. Yeah. And uh, thank you very much for watching us. If you want to hear us on our podcast, you can go to almost any place where you can find podcasts and just follow, look for the long box guys. And we're also on Patreon and uh, for a mere one dollar a month. Wait, one dollar a month, same as a hand job at the bus station? Same as a hand job at the bus station. You can get uh, an extra podcast almost every week. Plus, all the money does go to the Elizabeth Peabody House Food Bank. Tell me, how many people do we feed out of that place this one month? We're we're feeding about 275 families a week. 275 families a week. That is week. so week. Big. Hot damn. Hot yeah. damn. I used to feel good when I got 100 in not my doors. 200 and some change. Good job, Tommy. Yeah. All right. That does it for us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.